Hey, Riley. <sighs> Riley is 11 years old today, this week. My Christmas and New Year's angel. My sweet baby Jesus. 11. I'll let you down. He wants food and water. You okay? Um. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Moosh, and welcome back to my channel. Couldn't tell you. Because I couldn't tell you what I'm doing with my life. Or this channel. I don't know. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. Anyways, today's video is gonna be about my new vinyls that I got for Christmas because uh, everyone in my life I guess loves me and knows I love vinyls. Um, I still don't know why I'm making these videos and I'm gonna keep it that way for a while because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, you want me to fight you? Yum 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 yum. Riley needs a sibling or a girlfriend or something. He likes to fight for his food. Um, so yeah, I uh, hope everyone had good holidays. Today is New Year's Eve. I just got off work and I was like, I'm gonna do this because if I don't today, I might not for a while. Um, so yeah, hope everyone has a safe and fun evening. Um, Happy New Year to you all. I don't know when I'm gonna post this. It all depends when I edit this. Anyways, let's get right into it. So, I got seven vinyls for Christmas. That's a good number. I like that. Um, I'll start with one. I, the, this is the only one I opened. I was waiting to film this so I could open the rest with you guys. I got Black Puma's album. Um, I think this is just called Black Pumas. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, my best friend got me this for Christmas. We do a gift exchange just between her and I. This is so cute. Tell me that's not so cute. I love this. And the vinyl, I already played it, obviously, is so cool. It's all white, obviously, with the Black Pumas art logo on the inside. Side A and side B. I'm not gonna go deep diving into the albums or artists today. But yeah, I think this one's super cool. But I will open them all with you. I got places to be, people to see. So I'm, I'm gonna make this video kind of quick. Maybe. Depends how much I talk. Okay. Let's get to it. Um, if none of you know Devandra, Devandra, Devandra Banhart, he is super good. He, most of his music's in Spanish, if not all of it. Um, no, I don't speak Spanish. I wish I did. I am learning, though, very slowly on the, that app, Duolingo. Um, obviously, I would benefit from taking real classes or whatever. Now bear with me, I'm so bad at opening these. I know there's tricks. I should have thought about this before I was waiting to open them with you guys. But yeah, don't mind if you hear Riley chewing. He's gotta eat, a man's gotta eat. Okay. Let's get this open. You know what? I'll be right back. Okay, now don't get any ideas. I got one of these sharp, sharp cutting tools. Um, if, if you see me do this, please don't copy me. Um, I am careful. And, you know, I just need to make a little cut like that to open these. You know, I only have those things because I have the little fish tank. 
and it's easy to clean the algae off the glass. Obviously, at the correct and most precise angle, um, there's like those magnet things that clean the fish tank, but no. Well, it opened it, but obviously, because I made the slightest cut, it didn't do the best job. Just don't copy me. If you copy me, you won't get very far. Okay. Yay! I finally got it open. Super cute. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh. I thought the vinyl fell out in it. Oh. Oh. There's a little 45 in this. Oh. That's why there's this space between here. Oh, that's so nice. That's so cute. Oh. That's awesome. Cool. I didn't know it was going to come with this. Lauren Baker and something French are the songs on the 45. I did not know that. So now, cool. Well, wasn't that a nice surprise? Cool. Here are all the songs and their lyrics. Very cute. I realized I didn't put face powder on potentially greasy. That's okay. It ain't easy being greasy. I don't know. Side A and side B. Very simple, very cute. Um, I do love his music, although I don't understand everything. Sometimes I'll look to see the translated lyrics to know what I'm hearing and you know that's great um he's just so cool <sighs> it's just so nice the music it's uh it's almost a lot of it's like romantic and just nice Spanish feels there's probably a much better word to describe his sound than what I'm trying to say. Okay. Cool. Okay. I got 21 Savage. I am, I was. That is so funny. I, I laughed so much when I op saw this. When I opened it or whatever. I was like, no way. My boyfriend got it for me. Because, you know, I'm lacking... I mean, I have quite the variety of vinyls, but I am lacking more variety. I'm kind of sad I didn't get, um, spoiler alert, I didn't receive any female artists. Like, I want more Lana Del Rey, and I really want some Dua Lipa. And I want some Doja Cat. Um, Taylor Swift, you know, good on her. I don't really like that album. So, I don't know if I'll ever get it. Midnight's? I'm not sure. But, awesome for her. She sold, like, so many copies. Um, yeah. I don't know. So, yeah. 21 Savage. Yeah. This is so funny. I don't know why I think it's so funny. I think just because it's 21 Savage, and I think he's so funny. I just love his music because it's just funny to me. I always annoy my boyfriend, so I'm so surprised he got this for me. Yep. Perfect. I'm so happy. I'm so happy I got vinyls for Christmas. You know, I'm getting older, so I don't even feel I deserve Christmas gifts. So, you know, it's a nice little surprise. 
side C, side D. Obviously, my favorite song on this is a lot, okay? Uh, I'm just... Sometimes your girl is basic. And that's okay. It's okay to like basic things. But, like, come on. 21 Savage came out of nowhere. In my opinion. And, like, I like, I like it. I like his music. Okay. Um, I am so happy I have yet another Cage the Elephant vinyl. This is my, I guess, second vinyl from Cage the Elephant. I love Cage the Elephant. They're so good. I've seen them live once in Toronto and they were so good. Best band I've ever seen live. I love live concerts, but they were so good. Um, their music's just so good. Sometimes, um, uh, I don't know. I guess you have to be in the mood for it sometimes, but I don't know. I just, they have so many hits, so many bangers. Um, my favorite song on this is Cigarette Daydreams because that's just, um, and I really like Telescope. It's just kind of, I feel, I feel the lyrics. And I love to feel the lyrics in music. I love when music speaks to me. Cool. Like, like every song is good. It's insane. I'm not, I'm never disappointed with Cage the Elephant. Nice. Nice. I'm so happy. And I'm probably, this is probably going to be the first one I put on tonight. What? It doesn't say, oh, my bad. This is side A and this is side B. I'm so happy. Cage the Elephant. Oh, so good. Okay. You know, I'm doing all right at putting them back in. Sometimes I struggle at putting them back in. I'm struggling more about from opening them today. Struggling more with opening them today. You know, sometimes the words in my brain don't come out the way I would like them to. Um, okay, so I got another Cage the Elephant album on vinyl. Tell me I'm pretty. And I, you know, I've always liked this because she's like a beautiful siren lady, even though she has clothes on and she's probably not a mermaid, but she just went for a dip. Kind of looks like she's in the Blue Lagoon in Iceland or something. Where is she? Wherever she is, hopefully she's not freezing. I mean, right now she's probably not freezing. She's probably alive, somewhere warm and cozy. Red hair is pretty cool. My first crush ever had red hair. Has red hair. Um, it's okay to have crushes. Oh, I thought I put the plastic on the microphone. Okay, this one opens. Aw. So they're at a beach, but it doesn't look like a beach. I'm looking too into it, too deep into it. But you know, I see the water is a theme. Oh, look. Face is within the lyrics. Super cool. Um, obviously, my favorite song on this album is Trouble. That's it's never gonna change. What is this? What is that? 
take it to forensics. Okay. Side A. And side B. Guys, I'm re-watching Dexter and I'm so happy. I think I kind of have a crush on Dexter. It's okay to have crushes. If your girl love me, let her love me. If you know where where the, that's from, let me know. Um, it's it's all good. This album is so amazing. Cage the Elephant's so amazing. I got off track with Dexter, um, which I didn't know until like two months ago. They made a new season of it as Dexter now and his kid kind of grown up. I had no idea. So that's what got me back into Dexter is because I watched it. Even though, spoiler alert, maybe I didn't really like how it ended. It was okay. It's better than, I don't know. It's better than the first season's ending. Not first season, but first, you know, first, whatever. It doesn't matter. This isn't about that. Okay, this is so sick. Um, if you guys don't know Father John Misty, you do now, and you'll listen to this album, uh, Fear Fun. This album artwork is so cool. I want, like, a poster of it. Man. So, I have two favorite songs on this album. It is Nancy From Now On and Hollywood Forever Cemetery Sings. Which I didn't realize until now that it's Hollywood Forever Cemetery Sings. I thought it was Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Live and learn. It makes more sense. And you know, it just makes me feel things. <sighs> Cemeteries are so cool. I feel that they're so comforting. I've only ever made out in a cemetery. Huh. Let me know if you guys done anything crazier. Um, this is a family channel, isn't it? PG-13, though, maybe. Uh, maybe I'll edit out what I just said, because maybe it's weird. Okay. Father John Misty. Again, coolest artwork. Coolest artwork ever. The artist, um, I do know, I follow on Instagram, I believe. All the artwork's cool. I should know the artist's name, but I'm sorry. But if you guys want to know, you can just look him up real easy. Look them up, whatever. Um, okay. Whoa. This is interesting okay I've never seen two pamphlets like this song one it's like a newspaper it's like a poster okay I'm not gonna open that right now but it's all the songs on two different pamphlets cool um, this came crooked. Nothing's perfect, and that's okay. This side, that side. Oh. Okay. I'm kind of confused, but maybe it's on the same side. Maybe not. Um, I will let you guys know. I do plan on making individual videos for each of these vinyls, so I will for sure keep y'all updated on that. I'm just so thrilled to have this. I think it's the coolest, coolest album. Okay, and my last album that I'm also so happy to have that I'm I'm gonna make a video of ASAP is Peach Pit's Being So Normal. If you don't know Peach Pit, check them out. They're so good. 
I love Peach Pit. You can't go wrong. There's never a bad time to put on Peach Pit. Well, the little knife is working for me, my cutting tool. Um, don't uh, copy me, especially if you are younger than me. Be careful. Don't hurt yourself. I'm not liable for your injuries. Okay. I was waiting for the plastic to be quiet. <sighs> All the songs are good on this album. Obviously, Tommy's Party is my favorite because I'm basic. Um, Peach Pit is so good. You guys will like Peach Pit if you don't know them. Side A and side B. So I think my favorite vinyl itself, like the, I, I like out of these, not the music, but Black Pumas was really cool how it's all white. All the other ones, all of these, they're pretty basic. No offense, unless I'm forgetting something in my brain. But that's okay. What matters is with, is what's within. That's all that matters. Not the outside art or beauty of it all. But anyways, super happy to have these vinyls added to my collection. Obviously, I will get more vinyls and make more videos on them. I'm happy you guys enjoy watching my vinyl videos because I really enjoy making them. Um, and I enjoy sharing my music tastes with people out there who appreciate that. Um, yeah. So, take good care of yourselves. Uh, be safe and responsible tonight. Have fun. Uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Alright guys. Peace and love to you all. Thank you again to all my subscribers. Love you guys so much. Peace.